hey guys welcome back this is MD and this is the old companions guide so this video is gonna be like split into two parts uh, so the first one is that I'm gonna go through all the islands and I'm gonna show you all the uh, or the monster that can be like your pet or like your friend or companion right and the second part is like I'm gonna like be talking about the best of the best of the best right so I'm gonna like give you like oh, these are my, my favorite or the best uh, pets and why are they are the best so yeah so like before we start like uh, going and like befriending animals we need to like use the fox tool and a dry grass to make some monster munchies so of course by now you know where to get them mostly from the sunny sands and the other islands you will get these uh, basic items so use a frying pan and you will get the items right simple as that starting with so scary we have three types of monster on this uh, small island uh, the first one is the walking corpse these guys are everywhere on the muddy like blocks and they are easy to be befriend with and they will help you making the drinks so if you like put them in a bar they will actually use the cask to make drinks for you next we have the muddy hands these guys can be found everywhere on this island especially on the muddy blocks they will help you to build the stuff so if you assign them on a building if you like put them on a like a, on one of the settlements they will help build the stuff right so they are like very very handy when it comes to the island stuff and next and finally we have the great saber cat this guy is awesome this guy is tough to catch uh, you can like he can be a mount he can double jump and he can you can even use him to like fast move over the water so yeah this guy is awesome uh, next on the adjacent island we have three types of monsters again the first one is the uh, hocus chimera of course you know chimeras are my favorite i've been using it a lot a lot uh, they can be used to like fly they have the fireball attack the fireball attack is not that great but the main stuff is like flying around they are really 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 like helpful so used i use them a lot actually then we have the brownies the brownies are the like the yellowish or orangish like uh, hammer hoods so yeah they can be friends with and you can uh, with the way to use them you need to like put a triangular seal and they will break that area finally we have the stone golem uh, these guys are always found can be found on these like small hills they, you can mount them they have a very strong punch which you can like break a lot of stuff and they can also change the surface to sand surface like the warm really warm so yeah uh, next we have the blossom bay again we have here like almost like four types of monsters the first one is the heat slime actually heat slime can be found on almost like all the shores and these guys when you like uh, I, I think I killed around like 20 or something before I got one of them to be my friend uh, they can be like a support in your party they will heal you they will heal you and they will heal all your party members even though their healing is not that great like not that frequent but yeah they can be a good companion when you're like going around the islands and fighting especially the big monsters and of course use the monster munchies to like be friend with them right and now we have the slime these guys are always everywhere uh, if you are like friend with them you can like actually you could, like mount them or like uh, they will uh, get bigger you can mount on them and also at the same time if you have like uh, uncovered bonfires on your island they will actually like produce oil so they are like good for producing oil on your island if you just want to get some oil because we need oil some for the cooking so yeah just just open flame uh, bonfire and they will do it for you then we have the great saber cup so the saber cup is uh, same thing as the great uh, saber uh, cat mount uh, double jump fast travel and they are easier to catch by the way so this is why you see that me having one with me right and next we have the chimera the one which i have now these guys are always by the way on the top so they are not gonna they won't hang underneath and of course like i said uh flying and fireball and the fireball is not that great as you can see here it took me like four or five hits to actually like kill one of them but I, I never like took them to like attack i i just have them because i can like see everywhere just like go to high altitudes like faster so they are very efficient if you're like exploring uh, on sunny sands uh, we have again three types of monster the first one is the she slime so this is like a normal slime but this one is like uh, orangish so these i think these are like the female versions so of course they can be a mount and at the same time they will produce oil so just open uh, leave an open uh, bonfire and you'll see like oil on top of it so yeah this is like helpful uh, next we have the golem as, as i told you before they can always be on top of these uh, small uh, hills 
and they have you can like mount them with mounting you can like use their strong punch to finish like strong enemies and even breaks a lot of like blocks and of course they will change the surface from like uh, to sand as well like the wiggly worm but these guys are helpful when you're like fighting like big giant monsters right and next we have the hammer hood and this is like the last type which we can find on the sunny sands hammer hoods are, are the same as the brownies use the seal and they will break that area they're not very efficient to be honest but yeah they're something that you can be a friend with if you want to bring the bring it to your island next we're gonna go to the rimey reef uh, in the rimey reef we have almost uh, four to five types the first one is the cosmic chimera uh, actually like I, I befriended one of the cosmic chimeras and I changed mine so I have the cosmic chimera right now again they can be found on these like top areas uh, the Pawi Yui can be found near the shores and these guys will change the surface to snow if you like pop, put the one of the popsicles it will change it to snow so yeah these guys help you're gonna like do it throughout the like the what's called the story missions they will ask you to bring one then we have the ghoul of course like the walking corpse they will make drinks for you if you assign them to a bar or if there's like a cask around they will do that thing for you so yeah they're like efficient they are like helpful when it comes to like uh, on the island uh, hunter mech this is actually like a, a super strong boss and after like killing it sometimes you will get the chance of like befriending him you know and this guy is, a, is an excellent uh, farmer and I'm gonna talk about that later on uh, then we have these living statues these guys are here they are like on the top and they are gonna help you in or like not, not for fighting they can actually like you can assign them to a room and they will extract the dye and everything so just make a dye workshop and assign them there and they will do the needful so you don't need to like uh, assign another human being which is like to be honest like which was worthless but, but when I assigned one of the living statues it did a lot of work for me uh, on the Laguna Perfuma we're gonna find again similar to walking corpse we're gonna find the cops corporal these guys here they're gonna of course make you like a uh, drink with the cask so if you want to catch one of these you can choose any one of like the three types that I showed whatever you like whatever color which you like right and next we have the killing machines here we have like a plenty of these these guys and uh, they're always over these like whitey snowy hills so just Kill one, and they're like. By the way, you will have more chances, and actually, they are like easier be, to be friends with uh, compared to the what's it called, the hunter that we like fire for earlier. So yeah, pick up one of these guys, and they are helpful with the farming as well. So yeah, and uh, next we have the liquid metal slime. These guys will give you hundred hearts every time you catch them in your base. So like, befriend one, take it back to your base. And uh, every day just go and like run chase them and like uh, and press the X and you will like get 100 hearts so these guys are good if you want to like collect, I mean, collect a, a bunch of like gratitude hearts so bring or uh, take two with you and you should be good and they are like hard to by the way be friend with I mean I only managed to get two after like fighting a bunch so yeah uh, moving on to the coral cave here we have one golden golem and this guy is always uh, like near the like the near the what's it called the shores and of course and sometimes like above these like hills so yeah you will find just go around this is he's uh, not he's like hard to like miss and of course you can like mount him he has a strong punch he can like break uh, blocks easily and of course change the surface to sand so yeah this these guys are awesome by the way when it comes to fighting actually like super super strong finally we're gonna go to the unholy home uh, here we're gonna find the hands the bloody hands these guys again will help you uh, with the building the thing is like these guys won't sleep they will not, not use toilet they will not eat so if you assign them like if you keep them to your like in your like uh, on the island they will do more work than the actual like human beings there so this is why these monsters like are more efficient when it comes to like uh, compared to the other stupid monsters uh, finally we have the stone guardian this guy is, is not going to be on the top like the previous one like living statue this guy is always on the ground near the these like red blocks and the other one you can use the hammer to kill but this guy use your sword to kill so it's the opposite for the stone we're gonna use the sword for the other one we're gonna use the hammer and of course this guy is assign him to a, like a, a dire workshop and he will do the needful actually so yeah these guys are awesome and of course on the 
uh, defile aisle we're just gonna find the healing slime nothing else and by the way you can check here on the registry that you will see what each guy does like for you so if somebody is like useless just take them out bring someone who is like more efficient and like I said most of these guys here they will not use the toilet they will not eat so they are more efficient no time is gonna be wasted actually so just bring in more monsters and instead of like uh, farmers or like guys to like build for you bring in a hand bring in a, like a slime to get more hearts and so on and so and these guys I mean I had a like a, a die workshop and nobody walked in there and even though I assigned someone nobody did like any job or even the farmhouse nobody did anything but when I brought these guys in actually I was seeing like my crops getting like water like new plants being planted and the dye shop was like working like uh, efficiently because uh, the the farming was like working efficiently because I would get the seeds and they would create colors with these seeds so yeah this is like a, a much more efficient like ecosystem rather than like having a lot of like merchants and other stupid people bring in a bunch of like efficient monsters and now I'm gonna like talk about the best of the best that I see or like in each category for example like when it comes to exploring these guys are the best the great saber cats the big ones not the small one the big ones they are like super fast the jumping is amazing and fighting is amazing compared to the cubs the cubs are like uh, same but they are like lower in stats the jump are like smaller and even the the speed is like a bit it's a bit less when it compared to the big guys and even when you're like uh, going over the water they that they're not that efficient when, when you're like going over the water so this is why i give these guys uh the perfect five stars so these guys when it comes to exploring use them use the the great saber cats and believe me i mean i use the i mean i mean i use this what is called the small one because uh, the how this i mean the big ones are like hard to catch and actually like i killed them like five to six times uh well maybe more actually and then i got one of them so these guys are very very like rare to fight even after the updates by the way before it was like worse so even after the updates they are hard to get so if you like if you don't want to like waste time then just go uh, with the cub otherwise be patient and go for this guy uh, next we have the chimera which I'm like using now and I talked about a lot uh, these guys are a must so a saber cat and a chimera if you want to like explore see things like from the top with a better view and actually you can go all the way to the top then just leave it and use the clock or like the clock and just like dive down whenever you want to fight so these guys are very efficient and very 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 useful when it comes to exploring this is why these are the second best with the five stars and of course the great uh, saber cub I give them like four stars because the thing is like they're easier to catch but like slightly less powerful or like less efficient than the great saber cat so yeah go for this if you like if you're imp I mean impatient uh, for the battle like I told you before the heal slime uh, these guys are a good support to heal you especially like you know most of the items that we consume are not that good and the other items are hard to make so if you have like a heat slime just go with it and the reason that I gave it four stars because the what is called the consistency consistency of like healing you is not that great and again for the another one the battle the golem uh, these guys are slow but when it's like they pack a punch really they are they are so efficient when it comes to like gaining XP by blo I mean breaking the blocks or if you want to just go to an island and, and get a bunch of like different types of block like the grassy blocks or the muddy blocks you can use these guys but when it comes to other stuff no fighting wise amazing for like a group of enemies and even like a strong monster they are amazing but the other stuff not that great then we have these guys the small guys the liquid metal these guys are really really amazing when it like comes to like gratitude hearts especially in the beginning so they will like give you like 100 hearts whenever you like catch them every day by the way you can leave the island and come back again to reset that thing you don't have to like sleep a whole new day finally the killing machine these guys are amazing when it comes to farming they can like you know cut crops like a bunch of crops at the same time so they are very very really really i mean i can't emphasize this but like these guys are very very efficient when it comes to farming so yeah these guys i mean have them or instead of like the other farmers the stupid hump farmers with the straw hat just bring in these guys and you're gonna be like good to go all your like crops here i was like waiting for like a bunch of days nobody did any work but as soon as i brought this guy here he finished everything really he was like watering the plants like picking up the crops and everything and giving it to the other uh, like living stone and he was like making the the dyes for me so yeah 
this guy so and even there's another thing that the hand you can bring in the muddy hand or the bloody hand to help you with the building if you're going for that but yeah guys that's it these are the things that i wanted to talk about these are the all the companions and i hope i uh, managed to like tell you everything about them if i missed anything then then write that in the comments uh, below guys thanks for watching check out our patreon page we're gonna post this video there early on and thanks for liking thanks for like subscribing to our channel and stay awesome guys as you can see this guy did the job and he's leaving now thanks buddy and stay awesome guys